All right, here we are at a pair of Kawasaki jet skis we've got for sale. Uh, there are no trailers included with these. Uh, the These are actually sitting on a PWC rail. These are made by Divnik. Um, this is attached here to this uh, houseboat. The advantage to these PWC rails is that when they're not in use, you can actually stand that rail uh, straight up so that it does not occupy space on your swim deck and i'm pointing these out to you because those um could be uh purchased in addition to the jet skis so if you've got a house but without any form of a pwc uh rail or ramp for um for personal watercraft um these uh again these pwc rails could be available as a as an additional purchase so, uh, but the jet skis here, um, these are not necessarily going to be packaged together. Um, these will uh, be listed individually. Um, it can be sold as a package or uh, just as a as one unit alone. Uh, we've got a 2006 Kawasaki jet ski. This is an STX-12F. Um, I believe this one comes in about 97 uh, horsepower. It is a uh, inline four-stroke, four-cylinder, four-stroke uh, jet drive uh, Kawasaki engine. Engine hours are not currently known on this one. Um, estimated to be under 200 engine hours. And this has been um, always used here locally in fresh water since it was new. And we're here for our video walkthrough tour. Of course, these will be listed at our website. Now for your convenience down in the uh, video description of this uh, there will be a direct link to each one of these uh, particular uh, pwcs uh, if you're not familiar pwc stands for personal watercraft uh, jet ski is is has kind of become a generic term for pwcs but um, actually kawasaki is the manufacturer that makes the jet ski branded uh, personal watercraft uh, so the red one here is a 2008 Kawasaki STX-15F jet ski. That one is rated, I believe, about 118 horsepower. Uh, both of these feature uh, the rear view mirrors. Uh, reverse. By reverse, I mean you can shift from forward into reverse. This is not a feature that's on every jet ski, especially as you go back into the older ones. Um, you've got a little finger adjustment right here, that little orange tab. You've got a uh, that keeps you from accidentally uh, bringing that into one gear or the other. Um, Kawasaki has the finger throttle levers. Uh, of course, you've got storage in the front of each one of these units. Uh, there's a, Additionally, there is a cover for each one of these. However, I will tell you the covers are... Um, uh, they're they're going to need to be replaced soon. Uh, I guess the easiest way to put it. So... Um, now, the information display on this one, on the, this is the 2006 model, uh, the STX-12F, uh, this one is no longer functional. You see we've got some water in there. Now that is about a $1,300 part, and so that is, is not going to be uh, replaced, but if you choose to uh, or wish to replace it, um, you know, keep in mind that is going to be about a $1,300 part for that part uh, new. Uh, both of these are considered three seaters and additionally they both have the swim step the fold down swim step and i'm going to show you what i mean here that would be this part right here that's going to fold down give you a little bit of a um, of a lift coming out of the water just to um to go from the water um, up onto the jet ski itself so So uh, initially, I'm going to focus here on this 2006 uh, against the STX-12F. Uh, both of these are three-seater models. Both, again, um, inline, four-cylinder, four-stroke jet, jet drive engines. Uh, just a small horsepower difference, uh, just about 20 horsepower uh, difference in, in the uh, rate of horsepower of each of these. Let me start by, let me go ahead and pull off the rear seat. I um, have to pull the rear seat in order to show you um, the engine. And bear with me here. Is might, yeah, might need a little bit of both of my hands to complete that task. Um, so we've got some storage underneath 
that uh, the back seat where your uh, third passenger is intended to uh, to ride. We got a small little tool kit that's going to snap onto the other side of that seat. Uh, we do have a little bit of wear in this seat cushion right here, uh, in that foam, and then we'll raise this off as well. So that's where your um, your battery is mounted, and this would be for a fire extinguisher. Currently, there is not one in this uh, jet ski. And then here's that inline four cylinder. Uh, again, this one's rated, I believe, about 97 horsepower, but it's an inline four cylinder, four stroke jet drive engine. And now that I've shown you that, go ahead and put the seat back into position. I snap down right there. And then we'll take this other seat. Pops it right back into there as well. So uh, I've got a small little storage compartment right here. This is going to be like a uh, security key where you can switch that from on to off. Um, again, here's that um, handlebar where you've got the finger throttle. There's your start and stop right here. Your little safety lanyard is going to fasten right there and then be attached to your life vest so that the unit shuts off should you um, should you happen to. Uh, get thrown from the uh, from the jet ski and then we've got uh, again we've got storage up here in the front as well this would be a uh, flush uh, adapter uh, we can run this on a hose either during winterization um, or if you were to be using this in salt water that would be the fresh water uh, flush kit for it so as you can see we've got um, we've got some wear and tear on this um, kind of throughout we've got it scratches up here on the top side uh, we're going to have some marks in the hull, the rub rail, and below where that water line is, is as well. Your, um, your grips here and the um, uh, on your little swim deck are, um, are a little bit worn. Some peeling up. That would be a ski tow hook right there. Um, and here's that underneath where you can see that swim that fold down swim step uh, you got a lot of marks here in the decaling and we'll go all the way up here to the front and step over here next to it uh, this can be your fuel fill right here uh, some marks in the fiberglass there and then here's a little bit of a glimpse below that rub rail all the way down again you've got some more marks on this one Actually, a lot of these are just wear marks. Uh, I do feel a little bit of fiberglass right here, just below this edge. Bear with my camera angle here. I'll try to get you a better glimpse of that right there. And let me come right back around to the other side where we start it. And some heavy oxidation on the back uh, about two-thirds of this ski and and again a lot more wear in that decal in there on this one again that that's the uh, 2006 model and let me step right back over top now focusing in on the uh the 2008 this is the uh the red jet ski this is the stx 15f uh, and again we'll have a direct link to the listing page for this one uh, down in the video description. That's going to take you over to our website, which is at yournewboat.com. That's where you're going to have the, uh, the current status of this one, um, asking price, all of our contact information all right there. We do not mind your YouTube comment page, so we do like to remind you. Um, if you do have any questions about this one or want to submit an offer or anything like that, uh, you will need to use that link down in the video description to, uh, to get over to our website. Uh, if you're having trouble finding that link, our website is just simply yournewboat.com. And um, if you want to use a little shortcut, you can go to yournewpwc.com and that will take you dr uh, directly to the listing page for all of the personal watercrafts that we have for sale. Again, PWC stands for personal watercraft. So you'll hear us use that um, quite a bit anytime we're talking about any of these um, jet skis, wave runners, the uh, another um, name brand, but again, Kawasaki is the one that, uh, that owns the jet ski name rights so again here on this uh 2008 we, we've got a lot of wear above the rub rail and we do have a newer seat this is a uh, a newer seat right there uh for that main uh seat cushion and let me go ahead and step on over here this one here again uh, we've also got 
ski toe hook right here um, that folds down swim step. We do have some wear in this uh, rub rail back here on the back portion of this. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll start by pulling uh, this seat cushion off here. Just barely cannot be done one-handed. Um, I've also got the little tool kit up, up here on the underside of that seat. Um, here's your little storage compartment. That would be where your fire extinguisher needs to go. Fire extinguishers are not in this one. They should be, but they're not. Um, and then, of course, we've got the battery here. And again, this is uh, this aftermarket seat cushion right here. If you uh, wish to replace uh, that other seat, a lot of times it's just as easy to do one of these aftermarket seats um, or seat skins, and, and you can do that yourself. Um, all right, so here's our battery here for this one. It's that inline four cylinder, four stroke. Uh, this one is rated, I believe, about 118 um, rated horsepower. And this one has 173 engine hours showing on it. And this one does have the uh, data display. It's operational on this one. Uh, now the battery is disconnected right now. Uh, but you're going to have a fuel gauge up here, um, a, a speedometer here, and then um, you can do a trip timer, a uh, time of day clock, or, or your engine hours can do, be displayed right here. I've also got the finger throttle. Uh, here's your start, your stop, and where your lanyard's going to be attached. You've got the same little kind of security key right there where you can disable this particular unit. Um, and then the same uh, shift mechanism right here uh, to go from uh, forward into reverse gear. What that does is that's going to drop a flap um, down below that jet pump. And then also you've got the two rear view mirrors on this one and the same storage compartment up here in the front of this one. Got that integrated um, kind of little storage tray right there. There's your flush adapter right there, your fuel fill right there as well. Marks on, the, uh, on this storage cowling as well. And let me pop this back seat section back on here and kind of get a little bit more up close on this. So this is uh, meant to be kind of a, uh, a tie-up cleat option. Uh, you've got two of those right there. I uh, do have some wear kind of throughout on this one on the exterior. We have the oxidation and some wear on here as well. Kind of throughout on this one. And I kind of showed you a glimpse of this up here on the on the uh, top side. Come on around here to this side here. Get you a little bit better view. This would be the port side. Get some heavy oxidation uh, on about the back two thirds of this below the rub rail. Um, oxidized a little bit everywhere above that rub rail. look down here below the water line you're gonna have a lot of those marks in the the hole as well some of that's through the fiberglass some of it's almost just like the paint has uh, has has come off uh, but again there is there is plenty of wear and tear on this one um, that is why we put out these video tours to try to give you a truest possible accurate representation of all of our listings. So again, uh, these can be purchased as a package or as individually and the, uh, the P Q excuse me, the PWC rails that they are currently resting on um, can be attached to your houseboat. Those um, could potentially be purchased in addition uh, to the jet skis as well. So again, this is the 2008 Kawasaki Jet Ski STX 15F, 118 rate of horsepower uh, with 173 engine hours. And the 2006 Kawasaki STX 12F, um, this, that's the one that does need that uh, data uh, or dash display replaced at a cost of about $1,300. And so because of that, the, uh, the engine hours are not displaying at the moment. Oh,
perhaps a Kawasaki dealer can verify those engine hours hooking it up to their computer um, estimated under 200 hours Again, the 2008 has 173 and these uh, essentially have been used here locally on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake Tennessee since they were new and that's going to do it for these again use that link down in the video description to get directly to our website for their full list of specifications current asking price and of course all of our contact information you can reach out to us by phone by text or by email but again we do not monitor the youtube comment page so if you do have um, any questions want to come see these in person uh, submit an offer or anything like that be sure you follow that direct link uh, down in the video description to get a listing page for each of these or go to yournewpwc.com you'll be able to find these rather easily uh, there that's going to take you to, again just to all the personal watercrafts that we have for sale at our website uh, website uh, our main website is yournewboat.com but yournewpwc.com is a shortcut to just view the personal watercrafts we have for sale um, and um, and again if you uh, we always like to remind people if you uh, call us on the phone and get our voicemail if you would like a return phone call please make sure you leave a message if you do one better, leave a detailed message. Let me know what listing you're looking at, what questions you have. We are very frequently in areas out cell phone reception. So if you don't leave a message, most of the time we will have no idea that you called. Um, and if you send us an email and you have not gotten an email reply back in one business day, please check your spam folder. We're generally very quick about getting email replies back out to, uh, to people. Generally going to respond in a matter of maybe four to six hours on a business day. So if you don't see that uh, reply, check your spam folder. And um, you can also text us uh, by using that, those uh, contact information there on our website. So that's all for our public service announcement. I thank you again for joining us. Uh, you're going to see two things pop up in the corner of your screen as we conclude this video tour here today. Um, in the top left corner will be a link that will take you to our current listings playlist at YouTube. Um, if you're just trying to see uh, what we currently have available that is the best way to do it. if you do not wish to leave YouTube uh, We frequently hear uh, kind of from people that uh, trying to locate a particular uh, Boat that they saw a video for but the uh, the video uh, Was for a sold list and we have two playlists at our YouTube channel uh, YouTube.com slash your new boat. There's two playlists one for current listings and one for sold boats We do like leaving those sold boat video tours up for other people that are shopping at similar models um, Kind of want to see the layout of one or particular features of one so we we do when once one's been sold uh, we're going to change the title. The title will, instead of saying for sale on Norris Lake, for instance, it will say sold. And then that uh, video gets moved to our, out of our current listings playlist, to our sold boats playlist. Um, so, again, top left corner of the video screen is going to be a uh, direct link, take you right to our current listings playlist. And top right hand corner of the screen is a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, it's a great way to be notified of new listings as they come available in our area. And I thank you again for joining us today again here at the 2006 Kawasaki STX-12F jet ski for sale and the 2008 Kawasaki STX-15F jet ski for sale uh, again here on the beautiful Freshwaters in Norris Lake, Tennessee. And I thank you again for joining us.